Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about the variables and methods in JavaScript. Let me open Notepad. What things we are going to discuss? Let me write here. First one is like variables. One is like functions. So we have to say functions. In this, we are going to discuss about anonymous functions. The next one is like callback function. The next one is like higher order function. Higher order function. These functions we are going to discuss. The first one, let's start with variables. What is variable? First of all, my JavaScript, we can say like a dynamically typed programming language. Why we can we speak call like dynamically typed programming language? There has multiple programming languages out there, like Java, .NET, PHP, like this multiple programming languages out there. Okay, let's take like Java or C, you can take it, whatever it is. Okay, why my JavaScript, we can say like a dynamically typed programming language means very simple thing. For example, if you want to create a variable in your Java, you want to store some value. And value I want to store it. How we can create a variable? Just you can create a variable in Java like int number equals to number equals to ten. Like this you can create. Okay, here first of all tell me why we go for variable means if you want to store some data, if you want to store some data. Okay, then you can go with the variables. The memory location name we can represent by using the variable name or not. It has some spaces there. In that space. Okay, just I place like a 10, the space name we can say like a number, memory location name also we can say like a variable. Generally, why we go for variable means just if you want to represent some data, then you can go with the variable. I want to represent a 10 here so that I go with the int number equals to 10. This is like Java. Java. In Java, I created one variable like this. In Java, if the type is like int, Okay, how many bytes of memory is going to be allocated? You know, okay, it's allocating like four bytes memory. Four bytes memory is going to be allocated. That means only four bytes memory allocated means this much data only we can store it or not. This much data only we can store it. That means it's like a restricted values only we can store it or not. Okay, for example, if you write like this, if you write like this in the time, it throws an error. Okay, why because Okay, this is like an integer number. That means the type is like integer. I can store only four bytes, but you store like more than four bytes data or not. So it gives me an error. That means before assigning, before assigning the data only, that means before assigning the data only, just based on the type, how much data it can store, we can assume or not. We can predict or not. We can tell or not. Okay, not predict, just you can tell it. If this is like integer, okay, four bytes, string, eight bytes like this. But but in your JavaScript, in your JavaScript, it's like a dynamically type of programming language I said. So that here there is no type, nothing. Okay, if you assign this much value, dynamically it's going to allocate the memory for this particular value. Okay, you can store how much data you want. Here there is no particular data type, nothing. In your variable, in your JavaScript, you don't create a variable, just you can say var there equals to temp. Now my var is a data type data type here in is a data type here you can ask okay how much data how much memory it is going to allocate if I, at first time at the time of loading there is no memory nothing based on this particular assigning the value it's going to allocate the memory dynamically okay value equals time you can assign okay and next one is like var number equals to like this you can put it no problem at all dynamically for this particular value they are going to allocate the memory so that my JavaScript, we can say like a dynamically typed programming language. In our industry, not only JavaScript, Python is a dynamically typed programming language. PHP is like that only. There is no types, nothing. Okay, so how we can create a variable in your JavaScript means it's like a data type, and this is my variable name, and this one is like your variable value, initial value. So can we create a variable name? Okay, can we create a variable name? Yeah. Okay, how we can create means just I don't want to use any JS file, any JS file I don't want to use to write this code. Simply, always I am preferring like to practice purpose. For the browser console, I want to use it. Let me open the browser. Okay, open the new tab. Right click on that one, inspect it. Here, my console already in our last session, I discussed about the developer console tool. Okay, developer console tool, each and every tab I explained. 
so that just open that one here console is working like a javascript editor or not see here here you can create a variable a equals to 10 that's it my a variable created or not like this where n equals to how much you want how much you want you can there is no problem here there's no instructions nothing say this say this okay these many zeros are there it's like in different format or not exponential format or not like this dynamically it is going to allocate the memory for this particular variable or not so that javascript you can say like a dynamically type of programming language so like this we are going to create the variables in javascript now the functions you can say functions how will you create a function in your javascript now come here if you want to create a function i'm using console only again i'm telling just like this you can create a function is the keyword after that you can write a function name okay this parenthesis is going to represent your function and this parenthesis it's going to represent okay this braces curly braces is going to represent your function body here you can write any number of statements or not any number of statements you can write it okay like this controller log of one is one statement controller log of two is one statement like this you can write any number of statements inside the function body or not yeah i created one function okay now the function statements writing and everything is completed just click on enter just click on enter see undefined they given they printed inside the console means you can confirm like yes my statements are loaded my statements executed like that you can understand now my function writing the function there is no use when you can get the services from the function by calling or not just you can call the function like this if you want to call you can call it see this my f1 call whenever you call the function yeah see this this message this message this message all are printed or not like this you can create a function in your javascript now the next one the next one okay what is the anonymous function what is anonymous function now see this the function which is not having any name the function which is not having any name that type of functions we can say like a yeah, anonymous functions now when exactly we are where exactly we are going to use anonymous function means in the callbacks we are going to use now let's start with callback inside of callback i'm using and i'm going to use like anonymous functions so let's start what is callback first i'm going to let me write some piece of code i have a function is there you have one i have a function is there you have one which take some arguments also function which takes some arguments now this is my argument now just i'm going to write some piece of code like this yeah my function right by seeing this code what can understand my function f1 take one argument what is the type of that argument okay here there is no type nothing i already told you there is no type in your javascript for the variables it's like a dynamically type so here my a is like which type based on the uses you can say you are using with braces with these braces is nothing but what my a is like a function or not so that my f1 take one function as an argument or not so that here my f1 if you call if you call what you have to pass one function you have to pass it or not here you can pass one function that function may be a named function or it's like a anonymous function whatever it is now here you can write like here you can write like okay function call just you can write one message now see this my f1 which take one function as an argument my f1 which take one function as an argument if i pass the function to this guy this guy again call that function or not this guy again call that function or not see my f1 which take one function as an argument we are passing like one function as an argument or not here function name is like f1 for this function do you have any name there is no name nothing the function which is not having any name that type of functions you can say like a anonymous functions anonymous functions now this function we are passing as an argument so that my a my a holds this function or not now here what you are doing you are calling a you are calling a is nothing but internally you are calling this function or not internally you are calling this function now itself i want to discuss about the callback callback here callback function means giving one function to some other person see this function only callback function how it's acting like callback function and explaining i am giving this function to some other person this callback anonymous function i am giving to my f1 that guy is nothing but f1 is going to call with another reference or not call back with another reference or not that type of function you can say like a callback function giving one function to some other person giving this particular function to some other person so how we can give in this case giving as an argument 
okay we are pass this function as an argument to my f1 my f1 again call this function with another reference or not that type of functions we can say like what callback functions which function you are passing as an argument that is like a callback which function take one function as an argument that function you can say like a higher order function so that all definitions covered or not the function which is not having any name that is like anonymous function the function which is passing as an argument to another function that function we can say like a callback which function take function as an argument that function we can say like a higher order or not here f1 is like a higher order function this is this function we can say like a callback this function is not having any name so that this function we can say like what anonymous function or not thanks guys thanks for watching now if